Have you ever struggled? Spent sleepless nights deliberating on which fragrance you should wear to the aquarium? I feel your pain. I've been where you've been. And I'm here today to offer assistance and share a handful of fragrances I think would be very appropriate for a day date to the aquarium. Stay tuned till the end and I will tell you which fragrance I actually wore on my day date to the aquarium. So no more dilly-dallying. Let's just get into it because I know time is of the essence here. We'll start with a fragrance from a house that's new to me that I actually discovered through my scent bird. Their concept is a little bit like an ode to France and the fragrance is called Sur la Plage and the house is Veronique Goodbye. Now because I only have a travel spray, I'm gonna resist my temptation to show you a boring decant. But I have it on my hand here and I really love this because for the aquarium, <laughs> Certainly you want something that has a marine feel to get you in that sea time mood, fishy mermaid mood. I like this because I don't always enjoy a fully marine note. A lot of times the salinity of it starts to be a bit synthetic and bothersome. It might be a slight allergy to whatever kind of molecules that are normally used to create that sort of marine-like note. Fragrances like Soleil Blanc, Bulgari's Aqua Divina, which is really one that I like in theory, but bothers my third eye area. This fragrance doesn't have that bothersome quality to me while still maintaining a very fresh marine feel. It is a more natural smelling, beachy and skin-like accord. The floral notes in here are very fresh and realistic and this is an orange blossom that is not bothersome to me because that can be a very troublesome note. To my nose, this is a more beautiful version of Soleil Blanc and it doesn't quite go so sunscreeny. So it has that oceanic feel feeling and a little bit of salinity, not to where you're feeling like you're dehydrated because of the salt water. You know what I mean? That skin accord in there also lends it a little bit of a surreptitious sensuality. You know, if you're on a date, you leave a nice little trail of fresh oceanic notes, but also a little hint of musky sensuality like you've been laying on the beach all day. I think this one will be really beautiful for a day date to the aquarium. Next we have one of my favorite fragrances. It may not be an obvious choice, and I know it does receive a little bit of flack in the community, but it is such a unique scent, and it is so psychologically evocative. And it is Gucci's Memoir d'une Odeur. I have my little travel guy of it here. I love this. Mm. So it's based around chamomile and all of the varied mechanisms related to your olfactory process that bring memories to the forefront. So I feel like this is a fragrance that will elicit a whole myriad of responses based on your association. And while of course that's true of all fragrances, I think because it's chamomile and it's an herb and it's a mineral aromatic that it has the capacity to elicit a whole different array of memories and scent associations because it's not something you can put your finger on or that is prevalent in fragrances like florals or fruits or even musks. This is unique in the perfume fragrance world so I think it allows for different scent associations and more interesting scent associations to come forward. And that's why I think this is really interesting as a date scent. Super understatedly sensual and it will leave an impression because of how you unique it is. Now out of the bottle it may not seem so interesting but on the skin it really dries down into such an intriguing mineral musky sweetness and in many ways it is a your skin but better scent but it's one of those that's sneaky because it feels like it's very light and the projection is weak but in actuality you leave a very nice bubble and a very sensual interesting trail. If you're anticipating wanting to encapsulate a memory putting a scent like this on is really useful because of its singularity. And next time you wear this, it has that psychological imprint of the good times that you want to, I guess, kind of download into your olfactory system and therefore your memory system. So let me know if you've tried this and how you feel about it and if you would like a more in-depth review because this one is very, very intriguing to me. Gucci's Memoir d'une Odeur. And now for the fragrance I actually wore on my trip to the aquarium. If you guys saw my recent unboxing, it is Hermes L'Ombre de Merveille. I have been reaching for this one 
constantly. This was an amazing blind buy win. It was an impulse buy. It wasn't even a good price, but I felt like I had to pick it up because I love this line. I love the elixir. I love the regular Eau de Marve. I needed it. I have to say, the notes on this don't make a whole lot of sense. I don't really get black tea, I don't really get incense, and I only very mildly get the tonka. It does remain consonant with the Mervais line in that skin-like, saline, resinous, musky feel. This has an added sense of aromatic herbaceousness, and weirdly, for some reason, it's reminding me of Chloe Nomad. I can't put my finger on why. It has a little bit of that sharp a little bit of that Mirabelle Plum note in Chloe Nomad. I mean, I'm sure there's more notes than this, obviously. It has kind of a simultaneously warm and cool vibe. So why I chose it for the aquarium is because it has that warm, cool salinity and that element of the salty skin out of the ocean. Rather than summertime, warm ocean, it's cloudy, cold day. Maybe you went scuba diving and you're in your wetsuit. Your skin is emanating that cold, salty sea. Really, now that I'm thinking about it, it has a little bit of that wetsuit as well. The other part of it is juxtaposed with that cold, wet, cloudy sea day. The resinous part of it lends it a really skin-like warmth. So it's almost as if you took your wetsuit off, you went into your beach house, you took a nice warm shower, and you're huddled up. Still a little bit chilly, but you've got a nice warm blanket on, and you still smell those saline waves. So it has that cool air and that warm coziness, and those combined give it a nice sense of mystery which makes this fragrance pretty sensual and thus pretty interesting for a day date. It's unisex leaning slightly on the masculine side. This scent evokes a feeling of someone being quite enigmatic and therefore a little bit fascinating. But like I said, I've been reaching for this one constantly. I've been wearing it in professional situations, just running to the grocery store. My husband is quite taken with this and it smells great on him as well. And again, like interestingly, I think if you like Chloe Nomad, you will probably like this. I think this is a little bit of a hidden underrated gem in and of itself. So that is Hermes L'Ombre de Merveille. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little overview. Let me know what are your favorite aquarium picks because this is a very important topic. Let me know if you've tried these fragrances. Do you hate them? Do you love them? Thank you so much for spending a little bit of time with me today and I will see you in the next video. Bye.